Uh, we're here to announce the uh, New South Wales VB Blues team for State of Origin 1, uh, the Holden State of Origin 1, uh, at ANZ Stadium on Wednesday, June the 5th. And the positions are fullback, Jared Hain from the Parramatta Eels, wing, Brett Morris and George Illawarra Dragons, centre, Michael Jennings, Sydney Roosters, centre, Josh Morris, Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs, Wing, Blake Ferguson, Canberra Raiders. 5'8", James Maloney, Sydney Roosters. Halfback, Mitchell Pearce, Sydney Roosters. Prop, Paul Gallen and Captain, Cronulla Sharks. Hooker, Robbie Farah and Vice Captain, West Tigers. Prop, James Tamu, North Queensland Cowboys. Second row, Ryan Hoffman, Melbourne Storm. Second row, Luke Lewis, Cronulla Sharks. Lock, Greg Bird, Gold Coast Titans. The interchange bench, Andrew Fafita, Cronulla Sharks. Kurt Gidley, Newcastle Knights. Trent Merrin, St George Illawarra Dragons. And Anthony Watmayer, Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. Thank you. Lars, have you known about this team and has it been cemented for days or was there any you know, last minute things you had to decide? Oh, look, I'd been... Um pretty confident about the side um, for the last uh, week. Um, there were still a couple of things I wanted to have a look at, um, but I'm more than happy um, uh, in this squad. I think it's a tremendous team. Um, there were some unlucky guys to have missed out, uh, but that's what we're building here in New South Wales. Uh, we're building uh, good depth and we're building um, so if at any time we need to call on players, they're, they're ready to go. But this is the team that's been selected for game one and and um, they'll represent us proudly. 5-8, your biggest headache, Laurie? Yeah, most definitely. Um, once I settled uh, uh, on the front row, because that was another issue, uh, then it came down to uh, the 5-8th position. And I think, you know, um, what swayed it in, in James's favour uh, is the control that, that Mitchell has been showing at the... The Roosters this year, um, with James in that team, and he just looks as though he provides a calming influence on Mitchell. Um, he's a mature age player. Uh, he's played in the grand final. He's played in some really big games, and um, I think it'll complement our team. Roosters, it's been a headache for a while. The halves, and you played big five, and you can settle on these guys. I mean, unless they have shockers, are they definitely going to be the whole series? Oh, look, you'd like to think so. Um, I mean, I think the biggest thing in State of Origin is to get your team selections right for Game 1 because that's who you have your trust and faith in and that's who you believe can do the job. Um, so for me, uh, this is the squad that I'm hoping um, will be there for three games. Oh, there's a number of props unlucky. Uh, I've been really impressed with the way that Tim Grant has bounced back over the last couple of weeks. Um, his form... Uh, has coincided with the fact that Penrith are going strongly. Um, um, but we were looking probably for uh, a little bit more mobility uh, in our team rather than size. Um, and that's what led me to make the decision to put uh, Gal up front. Is that how you think you play Queensland, Paul? With, with that mobility rather than size? Well, it's something that... Um, people will disagree with and um, but I, I think over the last couple of years um, it has been a strength of New South Wales um, um, the mobility um, but having said that um, I just think it's a, it's a it's a good side I think you know you look at guys on the bench um, for feeder uh, he's a big body uh, Trent Merrin while he plays um, in the back row he still plays as an edge player uh, as a tight player for the Dragons, and you know, last year he was playing front row. So we've got sort of, you know, two front rowers there on the bench. You've got Gidley who can cover anywhere. But, um, but yeah, I'm more than happy in this team. I think they all deserve their selections, and and uh, they're all playing really good football, which is a, which is a bonus for us. What convinced you to go with mobility over size? Is it something that you were to and throwing before? Yeah, it it was um, a big part of Queensland's success has been um, their four uh, front row rotations. Um, it looks as though they're probably going to go with a more mobile team. Um, 
And given that we weren't too far away last year, um, I just didn't want to uh, unsettle what we've already created. And that was something that I had to toss and, and turn over. Um, but, but like anything, once you, once you make your decision, um, you're glad you have, and um, everything, you know, hopefully goes to plan. When did you settle on Delaney? Uh, look, I, I've, I had um, obviously Maloney in mind um, at the start of the week, um, given that I knew that um, Todd could no longer push his case. Um, so I really wanted to be clear on um, where I was heading uh, before uh, this weekend's football, but I still wanted to make sure um, even though I'd made my decision that, that everything was was going to be OK. And uh, after watching his game last night, everything was OK. So he wasn't, he wasn't, sorry, he wasn't certain until after you watched him last night? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, he was the, the, the guy that, that I had. Um, but after watching him um, last night, it just reconfirms that you're making the right decision um, um, rather than... Than, than you know, umming and ahhing and still not being confident. Um, you know, I, I was co I've been confident that he could do the job as I would Todd. But um, the more I watch Mitchell play, and the more faith we're putting in Mitchell, um, I think he needed a just a, a, a calmer um, player and a more composed player. And I'm not saying that that's something that 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 Todd doesn't offer, but Mitchell seems to have found his rhythm. And for me, that's very important. What was the thinking going in Fergus ahead of Merritt or? Merit? Yeah, uh, that was a, a, another um, uh, tough decision. Um, uh, would have loved to have found a position for Nathan, and um, 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 uh, unfortunately, uh, he's missed out. Um, Blake has played good football um, for the Raiders, and he's a, a guy that can handle a lot of positions um, but he's, he's quite a big man um, and um, on that right side of the field we need some some big bodies um, in particular when you're talking about Inglis coming down that side of the field um, so we need to match their size with some size um, and that's one of the things that uh, I like about Blake. Is it fair to say that Andrew is someone who's forced his way into the team or you know he, maybe at the beginning of the season he wasn't Jumped ahead of place, you know? uh, most definitely. Um, I, I reckon at the start of the year, if you had have asked me um, where Andrew Fafita uh, was sitting in the rankings, um, he probably wouldn't have been um, on my radar. But his performances this year have been outstanding. Um, and again, he's, a, he's another big body, uh, plenty of mobility, um, regularly carries over 150 metres every game. In the last couple of games, he's carried 200. Uh, plays big minutes, um, doing a tremendous job for the Sharks. So, um, for, for me, he's young. Um, I've coached him before uh, in the Indigenous team. Um, and he impressed me at the start of the year. And um, yeah, he, he, he certainly forced his way in through performance. Is that the same with Hoffman as well? Uh, look, Hoffman, I think Hoffman could probably uh, consider himself unlucky over even last year um, to have uh, missed out. Uh, but he's another big game um, player. He's played in Origin before, but he's coming back into Origin a better player. Um, he's won grand finals. Uh, he knows what it takes to win. He knows some of the key players in the opposition, and that'll be invaluable to us. Laurie, uh, Jared Haynes had a lot of success on the wing for New South Wales. Are you you're confident that he's going to bring that brand of football to, to fullback? Most definitely. Um, the thing that I've really uh, liked about Jared's performance over the last couple of weeks uh, is his involvement and his work off the ball. And I know I've been speaking to Ricky regularly um, and he's, he's told me that that's a big part of his game that he's improved and watching him you can see that. Um, uh, he has been very good on the wing for New South Wales, um, but um, given the injury to, to, to Brett Stewart, um, he's been given a chance in the fullback position. It's a full uh, position that he likes to play, uh, wants to play. Um, so for us, that's exciting. And uh, again, he's, a, he's another guy that, uh, that uh, is still relatively young, but 
have had has had plenty of experience at this sta- at this level. So um, you would think that his best football is in front of him as well. Was there any thought of four forwards on the bench? Yeah, there was. Um, um, but uh, in the end, um, a guy like Kurt Gidley, I don't think it showed today in his performance with Newcastle. He played hooker, he played centre, he played fullback because the side had a few um, uh, injuries, and that's what can happen at Origin time. Um, he's an experienced player, he's a former captain of a state, um, and he's an invaluable uh, contributor to this team, and he's, and he's a leader, and you can never have too many, too many leaders in a team. Is there a preconceived idea of throwing one and giving Robbie a rest? Or was it purely just because he could come through? Uh, no, it, it's more the fact that um, he's an experienced campaigner. Um, he can play anywhere. Um, he's an adaptable player. Um, it wouldn't worry me if I had to use him in the back row. Um, I know he can cover every position. Um, and he's a guy that uh, is great to have around in camp. And as I say, he, he brings a professional um, attitude with him. His preparation's first class and um, as I said, you can never have too many of those players in your squad. And, and for some of our young guys to watch and see how our senior players prepare um, will, will be advantageous for them. Paul Gallen says maybe he's 50-50 to play tomorrow night. Is that a concern that he's going to go into origin with no action for the first part of the month? Um, yeah, it'd be no concern to me, no. Um, um, Gal is an experienced player who knows his body better than anyone else um, um, and, and given his age um, and the amount of football that he's played um, to miss three or four games at this time of year uh, is, could be an advantage to him because he'll be fresh, he'll be keen um, not saying he wouldn't if he'd been playing but given the workload that he carries um, sometimes these type of players can come into a camp and and uh, takes him a, a while to uh, to get going. But I don't know what he's doing tomorrow. He might, you know, play. But uh, if he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. It's no concern. You mentioned um, the ladies are calming influence on the hmm. How much is a, a key for us turning things around, Mitchell? Well, I, I think Mitch um, knows his game well now, um, and I think he probably hasn't had that in the past and I think he was probably always looking for the big play rather than thinking that the simple play is always or can be the most effective play and especially on the big stage um, it's not the big plays that win your games it's 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 the small plays that add up over time uh, so we've got to continually get the, the little plays right and um, if we do that they lead to big plays and and I just see that Maloney Pierce combination um, just being steady. They play with one another. Uh, they're doing it week in, week out, and um, it's a gut feel. How are you, Lawrence? Are you even in first campus? Can't wait to get in. Can't wait to get in there. Um, I feel like a uh, a rookie going into his uh, first Origin um, Origin camp. I'm that excited. Um, you know, preparation has been um, been done um, nine months ago got the job um, and I'm just really looking forward to it it's going to be you know there's some battles ahead but um, we'll be ready you having an old fashioned bonding session a what? an old fashioned bonding session <laughs> those days are gone aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> what about the you know, of it? Sorry, but coming up against Queensland. I asked you the other day about whether this talk that some of the Queensland, Queensland uh, key positions are a little bit um, not in form and hmm. you're not buying into nah, that. No, never buy into that. Um, uh, they're too, um, too professional uh, in their approach, and um, I think they've been playing really, really good football. Um, I don't know where all the criticism's coming from, but probably because their teams have been losing. But you've got to give Melbourne some slack, wouldn't you? Like they're still coming, what, second? <laughs> Even though they've lost a couple of games and people are calling, you know, their players are in a form slump. But what I saw of them last night, um, uh, they're, uh, they're just confirming to me that they're, uh, they're, they're good players.